Welcome back to Garbrader Games. I'm the Garbrader. We are playing Borderlands 2 again. Oh. We were leaving here, not going here. Let's go turn in for the first time in a while. We have a bunch of stuff to do in Sanctuary anyway. Including a mission, so... We've leveled up pretty quick by jumping ahead here. Maybe it's time to actually get back to the main mission. Come on, load screen. There we go. Okay, we get to turn in like... I think there's at least two or three things. So, first off, let's go see Tannis. Door just hit us in the face. Woo, four radio. Since you listen to my notes, Smart. I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. Oh? How did Jack get the vault key from Tannis? I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me and be handsomely. I can't believe we never looked at these. Oh, we'll have to go back for that later. Okay, perfect. So we have another mission. Oh, and they're all here. First things first, though. Let's go find a very quick place to sell off some of our junk. Been a couple days since the last banner. Oh. Well, there's one. I've been relocated to Sanctuary against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard <laughs> living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. A ceiling chair? I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, they sound nothing alike. Okay. Oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clork was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling, but he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Poor guys, they tortured and tortured. Philippe. Uh, I just. Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was. I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. In what it's part is this? here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion... I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Did we just get a whole story about how two ceiling chairs got killed? That is unfortunate. Okay. Either way. Time to sell off some stuff. We're level 25 now. Anything that's not level 25 is not going to be worth it. We're not that class. We're not that class. We are. Still don't really need it. 
Ooh, new skin. Let's just sell them all. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to keep that. And I want to compare. Let's compare that to... Oh, nothing to compare that to. So, first things first, obviously. Yeah, new skin. Let's compare that. So, fire rate is higher, obviously. Only eight rounds. Fires as fast as I can pull the trigger. Great. 274. I don't think it's really worth it. Let's just sell it off and be done with it. There we go. We'll keep the rocket launcher just in case. Okay. So, let's go turn in since that last mission there was so easy. Might as well. Oh, tennis, agenda. Oh, you can pick that up. There you are. How is that hard? Ah, the chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. Oh, and someone upstairs has. The city oh. may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? There we go. go. Let's turn in. Not dead. That's his way of saying, wow, you're a badass. I'm glad you're okay. Cool. Increases the numbers of guns. Right. That would have been I'm useful. Sorry. We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's yes, we getting do. closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key staff. I can help you with that. You? Damn it, we told you never to contact us again. Will you please just hear me out? Sure, let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. What? Continue. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with iridium. If you find me, you find the vault key. Oh. The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a death wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy. Oh, lovely. To atomize any unauthorized personnel. So yeah, a death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming. Trap or not. Oh. If, if anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, soldier. Head to the Hyperion. I was gonna say, Lilith is powered by Iridium. That's why Lilith shouldn't enter. I know that part. Okay. Well. We did that. Tans has another mission. If you could stand still for a moment, I'm quite... Some people, who are not me, oh. might consider slag experimentation immoral. Some Let's get those slag notes after. I pay you a great deal of money for bringing me experiment results from the Hyperion Preserve. Some people are stupid. And Claptrap has a mission for us, too. Let's say hi to him real quick. Talk to me, baby. I got It's my birthday. I first rolled off the assembly line seven years ago. Do me a favor and hand out these invites for my stellar birthday bash, will you? And quickly, we're gonna start any minute. Invite Scooter, Marcus, and Moxie, okay. Oh, don't get stuck on that silly thing. Hey man, I think Roland wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook. See if you 
Okay, Marcus. Real quick, we'll say hi to Marcus. No, doors. Doors are our enemy. How's that mission? Going? Wait, did it turn off? Ah! Cold, slap happy. No, perfectly peaceful. Oh, we just have to turn it in for that. What happened to. Oh, Claptrap's birthday bash. There we go. Still working on that mission? Oh, Marcus and Mafia. Sometimes I kind of. Let's go say hi to Marcus. Wow. Not Roland. You think he'd invite Roland, but apparently Claptrap is inviting Roland. <laughs> no. No. And Moxie, last but not least. I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. My purely platonic love. Don't want him getting any ideas. <laughs> well, we might as well also turn in here. We're right here. Scientifically, murdering old Slappy was probably a bad idea. Did I ever do my whole man as the real monsters? Okay, back to the birthday party. Enough of these goddamn birthdays. So many little side missions in Sanctuary to the point that we're already halfway through level 22 by the looks of it just by doing them. That is great. Then we'll go talk to Lilith too. Her side missions uh, tend to be fun. some pizza and some sparkling wigglers. Just hit that boom box and we'll get this party started. Boom box it is. All right. The guests should be arriving any minute. We have to enjoy the party for two minutes? Oh. I have to suffer, you guys have to suffer. Well. Can we shoot him? That job is us standing here for two minutes and ten seconds watching you dance. That ain't much of a job. Can we kill the time by this or does this just pause? Actually. Now the one thing we haven't done. We haven't upgraded any of these and we have six. Gun damage, melee damage, grenade damage. Let's do that. Ooh, and what is that? Allows you to throw grenades while in fight for your life. Also increases damage dealt with grenades and rocket launchers. Or gun damage plus five, fire rate increase. Increases gun damage and fire rate on non-elemental guns. Oh, that's not that. Still gonna do that, we'll max that. What about this? Magazine size, 10%. Oh. Let's do that. We do seem to run out of ammo a lot. Oh, it sure didn't even help our time. This place is kind of hard to find. We can't even turn it off. To with, uh, nobody. Please tell me this is going to stop soon. Let me know when you're done with that job. I am done with that. Oh, good, it's paused. Uh, there's um, some pizza. 
Slice? Nope. <laughs> oh, right. I don't have love. No, you Minion, don't. Minion, could you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit? Of a lot of experience at the end of this. That'd be great. Sigh. Well, uh, I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming to my party, Minion. And, uh, looks like I bought way too much pizza. So, uh, take some home if you want. There we go. Woo. Yeah, which one's worth more? Because we're just selling this. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Not bad. Another mission done in the sanctuary. So let's go and see what Lilith's mission is. Her missions tend to be a lot of fun. So, first things first, though. Guns, glorious guns. Nope, don't need that. And definitely don't need either of those. Oh, we can't equip another gun. I forgot about it. Or do we automatically? Nice. Automatically got the shotgun equipped, or a different shotgun. Okay, let's go say hi to the wall through. She should be out on the balcony. Or no, there she is. Hey! Got something new for you. Ever want to shoot someone who says stuff like, Tarnation. This is the mission for you. A gang of lowlifes is out prospecting for Iridium in the Tundra Express. I want you to find out why they're mining the stuff, and I want them dead. Order doesn't matter. Cool. Okay. Let's go do that. That sounds like fun. We're going to do that above all else right now. We haven't been to Tundra Express in a while. Let's go see what's up. And we need can try out some of our uh, our new shotgun there too. And right, here we go. Got them at least. Okay, let's go find this mine. There we go. That's the sniper, that's our corrosive, and that's our fire. Not hit the mines either. I have to. 
But hey, you never know. Oh yeah, we haven't been up here that I know of. Oh, Goliath. Well, that worked well. Okay, kill bandit miners, ten of them. We can do that. Gotta get up on the hill first. And basically, in, in base. investigate some iridium mining. As long as we get a bunch of iridium out of it, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, let's switch to this for the moment. Let's see what we're dealing with. The mine? Good. Miners aren't mutated, so they aren't using the stuff themselves. Which means these guys are sending their somewhere. Kill them all. Go, it's two of them. Ranger Miner, down he goes. Hyperion's pain. What was decided? They made a deal with Hyperion? Hey, don't feel bad about wiping these idiots out. I guarantee you Hyperion would have done the same after the mine dried up. Go check with Tina. She's got a job for you. Oh, Tina's got a job for us. Very nice. Finish one to trigger another. This one was a bit trivial. What's in the case? Not gonna be a high enough level on that. Thirteen. Not even worth grabbing. But we'll take the money. So. Yay for no fall damage! Yeah. 
there we go. Well, okay. we can go straight to Tina now at least. We'll go see what she wants and then I think we'll call it an episode. We've got a bunch of missions this time. Not a lot of fighting ones, but a bunch of missions nonetheless. Tina! Yo, 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 yo! Let's blow stuff up! Wanna rob a train full of money? Absolutely! Who told me there's a train full of money comes around here? Sounds like a job for high explosives, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah? Whatever. I got some bullets in the back. Get them. Snack time! <laughs> Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in. We'll have ourselves a good old fashioned train robbery. Why not? Well, guys, let's call this an episode. When, you, when we come back next time, we'll go dislodge the gate. I'm the Garburator. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.